Welcome to a new video from Elojop and today I'm going to explain the meaning of digits and counts and why they are important. There are many multimeters available on our website, but they all have different specifications. One of these specifications are the digits or counts. However, when you see these specifications for the first time, it may be not very clear what they actually mean. That is why I will explain in this video what digits and counts mean. First of all, digits and counts actually mean the same thing. Both terms refer to the level of resolution that a digital multimeter can measure. Basically, resolution is the level of detail that is quantifiable on a digital multimeter. The higher the number of digits on the display, the higher the resolution of the digital multimeter. So for instance, a voltage supply is supplying 14.99 volts, but after some time the voltage increases to 15.00 volt. Then either 15.00 volt or 15.000 volt will be shown on the display of the multimeter, for instance. Therefore, one extra digit will show a better precision. Take for instance this Unity UT139A with a 3.5 digit display and this Bryman BM869S with a 5 4 over 5 digit display. If we set the power supply at 15 volt and we measure the voltage with the multimeters, you can see that the Bryman multimeter has a lot more resolution than the Unity multimeter because you can see a lot more decimals after the comma. So you can do way more precise measurements. And now you might think, what's the maximum amount of digits you can have on a digital multimeter? At this moment, there are even digital multimeters available with an eight and a half digit display, like this benchtop multimeter from Fluke, which can even do five mega samples per second. But these are really dedicated for laboratories. However, a high amount of digits does not mean that a multimeter measures more accurately because a multimeter can display in any range that the producer of the product wants. If the multimeter cannot indicate for instance 20,000 levels, then there's no real point in connecting a 20,000 count display to it. Therefore, if the accuracy of this measurement is plus minus 1% when you know that the true measured voltage is exactly 100 volts, then the meter might show a voltage between 99 volts and 101 volts. But now let me explain how digits and count specifications are determined. For instance, take a look at the screen of a multimeter. If this is the highest number possible on the multimeter, then we can determine the number of digits and count specification from the screen. So let me first explain what is meant with digits. First of all, if I would read this screen, this multimeter would be a four and a half digits display. The number four stands for the number of digits the meter can display from zero to nine, which are the last four digits. The fraction is basically defined as the largest value the first digit can have divided by the amount of possibilities this digit can have until it reaches this largest value. So the largest value is one, but the amount of possibilities this digit can be is two, because this digit can either be a zero or an one, which is then one over two. Therefore, this is a four and a half digits display. Let's take now this example. This screen shows three digits that can go from zero to nine and one digit that has a maximum value of five, which means then six possibilities. So this screen is eventually a three, five over six display. But now let me explain what is meant with counts. Count is basically defined as the total amount of values that can be displayed. If a multimeter can display a zero and a one, then it has a count value of two. If a multimeter can display from zero to nine, then it has a count value of 10. So for instance, this multimeter gives a maximum value of 199.99 volts. That means that the total amount of counts of this multimeter is 20,000 counts. And then for this multimeter, the count would be 6,000, since the screen can display 6,000 different values. You can also directly convert digits to counts and counts to digits. Look, for instance, at these examples. If a multimeter has a display of three and a half digits, then the display has three digits that can go from zero to nine and one digit that can only be a zero or an one. Therefore, this display can only show values from zero to 1999, which means it is a 2000 
counts display. But now, if a display can show 4000 counts, then the display can only show values from 0 to 3999, which means it has a 3 digits that can go from 0 to 9 and 1 digit that can go from 0 to 3, which means 4 possibilities. Then this is a 3, 3 over 4 digits display. You can use the rest of this table as an easy conversion table. So to summarize, I have explained the meaning of resolution for digital multimeters and I have emphasized that resolution and accuracy are not the same. Furthermore, I have explained the meaning of digits and counts and why it is an important specification of a device. And now I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you at the next video.